Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Prairie Grove Volleyball Palace for this evening's contest between the Prairie Grove Lady Tigers and the Huntsville Lady Eagles. I'm Lynn Gregson, and my normal part tonight, Coach Hannah McDonald, is not with us tonight. And uh, with this substitute game, had a little bit uh, different schedule as this is a makeup game, but uh, we are here, and I'll be joined momentarily by Mr. Ron Bond, our school principal here. The Prairie Grove Lady Tigers come into tonight's contest. I have been talking with nothing going on. Go ahead. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Prairie Grove, <laughs> the Prairie Grove Volleyball Palace. And I'm <laughs> Gregson beside me is our principal, Mr. Ron Bond, and we're getting ready for tonight's contest. And our Lady Tigers will be facing the Huntsville Lady Eagles. And this is a makeup game from early in the season. And um, our Lady Tigers tonight come into the game. They are four and three on the season, three and two in conference play. This is an important contest. They play Huntsville tonight and then again on Thursday evening. And uh, Mr. Bond, so far from what you've seen from our girls this year, what do you think? They're getting better every day. Every time you see them go out, it seems like there's a uh, just a little bit more intensity, a little bit more confidence. I've been real proud of our girls. Uh, they definitely have seen a marked improvement from last year's team and, and they've played very well at times. I, uh, I know one of our better games, We, I mean, even though we, we lost to uh, Shiloh, we played one of our better games. They're just a fantastic team. Uh, our other conference loss came to Bearville the other night, and Bearville has a very good team. We did not play very well, but uh, I don't want to take anything away from Bearville. They played yeah. a very good game. They had a couple of young ladies that were very talented. Serving first for the Lady Eagles is Ellie Embry, and she serves into the net, so the Lady Tigers get the first point of the night. Serving first for Prairie Grove will be Katie Bowman. Nice, nice job by, that was number 23, Delaney Tempton. That just barely hit inside. Really, I, <laughs> I thought it was out. It was close. It was close. Good serve that time by Leslie Vaughn. Landry Lair gets it back over. And Marie oh, nice gets block. a good put back. Nice block. Nice job. And the Lady Tigers up two to one. That was very well played. Serving now for the Lady Tigers. Is, I'm sorry, Ooh, Riley, Riley Gerwig. Gerwig. You know, she she had a – we had a bunch of blocks the other night in the Berryville game, even though we came out behind. Uh, this looks like trouble coming here. It is. <laughs> Lady Eagles with a point. And we got distracted there by a couple of visitors, but uh, we're back on track now. I want to give a shout out, big shout out to Russ and Ann Thompson in Ruston, Louisiana. They are friends of the Gerwigs and they're watching the game day and that was going to go long. Ruston, Louisiana. That's a ways away from here. Yeah, it is. Bonnie Craigle now serving for the Lady Tigers. It's all tied up at three right now. Tigers need to get a little momentum, a little roll here. I like this lineup. There's a whistle. Looks it may have been out of position, I think. So the Lady Tigers get that point. On the front row here, we have Taylor Spinks, Kelsey Webb, and Marie Gregson, Landry Laird, Katie Bowman, and serving is Bonnie Craigle. You know, we've played Huntsville frequently. They've been in the 5A league and just now re-entered a 4A conference. Oops, just a little wide. Just slightly wide. I thought we were going to get that one, but we do, we do not. And uh, they did not give us our point a while ago on that 
I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go down that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I would. Something's not quite right. like number 12, Courtney Todd is the one setting up service for Huntsville. Miss Spinks with a return. They just called a double hit. Okay, I got a clarification there, Ron. I, I definitely don't want, I'll go after those points when we need them. Uh, they called, he called them out of position and then after co confirming with the coach, they were not out of they position. Weren't. So. That was just the redo. Serving is Jalen you know, Kilborn. I, I never sorry. had that that opportunity when I coached to have the official, you know, <laughs> me be able to clarify their judgment. Nice dig that time by Landry Laird. Oh, and a nice play there, number 25, Sierra Creek, for the Lady Eagles with a nice play and. Lady Tigers unable to return. So we're four to six early in the first game. You know, we need to break this service right here. Yeah, but we need, we got to get a little momentum going here. Mm -hmm. a, Ooh, that's a Bowman, nice hit. Nice hit there by Bowman. Lady Tigers get a free ball back over. And Wow. And another nice play there, number 25, Sierra Creek. She's made a couple of nice ones at 7-4. to four. She's, she's uh, seems a little taller than some of the other players over there. Casey Collins, a junior on the serve there for the Lady Eagles. And now Kelsey returned there, number 12, Courtney Todd. Katie. And that's going to be good. That was good. Yeah, I think that was good too. And Coach Lay was a little disagreeing, but I, I thought it looked in to me. Did you, Ron? It did. It really just barely. Four to eight. Collins again on the serve, and now Bowman. Now Bowman gets the knockdown there, and the Lady Tigers break nice serve. And now they're back in and. Serving now is Landry like Laird. Riley Gerwig coming back in. That's going to go long, and now Lady Tigers pull within two, eight, six. You're getting bombarded by a fly. Yeah, there's a fly over here. He's they driving probably me nuts. don't have flies down in Ruston, Louisiana. <laughs> No, they got big honking mosquitoes <laughs> down there. Big mosquitoes. <laughs> Landry Laird, nice serve. Let's see what they're going to call into the net. Lady Tigers in the net. I didn't see which one I it was. Either. The libero for the Lady Eagles is now serving. I didn't catch her number. It's like... Number two. Number two, that is Paige Anderson. Laird helped. Oh, and that's going to go out. Unable to keep alive. Ten to six, Lady Eagles. And looks like Coach Lay is going to take a timeout. Let's take that timeout with them. Ten six, Lady Eagles. Ask yourself this question, where can I go for all my entertainment needs for the family that also includes Prairie Grove Athletics? Well, the obvious answer, PG Telco. At PG Telco, they can bundle all of your needs. Phone, including local and long distance, internet, and direct TV, all bundled together, making PG Telco your one-stop shop for all things fun for the entire family. Give them a call today and find out how much fun can be bundled up for your family by PG Telco. Call 267-7200. That's 267-7200. 7200 PG Telco built on community focused on progress 
Ask yourself this question. Where can I go for all my entertainment needs for the family that also includes Prairie Grove Athletics? Well, the obvious answer, PG Telco. Okay, we're back with you, and it's the Lady Eagles are up 10-7 as the Tigers get a point there. Spinks had a nice serve. Spinks now with a set. There's Pragle with a kill. Not quite down there. Good. Riley getting it back over. Now Landry. Now the Lady Tigers has got a free ball it back over to keep it in play. Lady Eagles. Nice hit. Very nice job that time by <laughs> number one, Leslie power. Vaughn. I think they're trying to knock our camera out. I think so. How did that, uh, did it move it? Are we okay? I think we're good. All right. Does it look good on the screen? Yeah, still. They've had some power on a couple of those outside hits. 11-7. So this is number four. This is from Ellie, Ellie Embry. Did a good job just getting that back over. But it's going to go out. Now the Lady Tigers. Their largest deficit so far, they're down five. And we look a little bit like we did against Berryville, just. At the very beginning. Yep. Bowman. And now out that time by Leslie Vaughn. 12 to eight. Grex is gonna come in for Kilborn. And Bowman back to serving. 12 to 8, Lady Tigers trail. First game of the match. Gonna call a two Double ball hit. on that. And 12 9, Lady Tigers closing the gap. A couple more by Bowman, and we can. Time to get a little momentum going right here. Ooh. Ooh. It's gonna go. It's going to go long and right back to a four-point deficit. Now Leslie Vaughn going to serve for the Lady Eagles. Ron, we just can't seem to quite get in a rhythm yet today. And you're right because in the Berryville game, they started off, didn't have any success early on, but I was really proud of the way they – there we go. Nice Good block job, that time by Gerwig. In that second game, I think it was against Berryville last week, it was pretty pretty exciting there for him. There's Gerwig, good, good, good throw. throw. That's gonna go long. Just a little bit long. So it's 14-10 Huntsville. Hot. Back to 15-10. Okay. It's like number 23, Delaney Tipton, serving for Huntsville. Wow. Marie had a nice hit to break that service. She put a little power on at that time. That was really good. So Bonnie Craigle, number 13 for the Prairie Grove Lady Tigers, is up serving. Craigle gets it in. Great. Closing it up a little bit. The other night, uh, in a couple of games that we've had, this particular lineup right here with Craigle serving and you got Webb and Gregson and Taylor on the front line, that has seemed to be a time we kind of get a, a roll. Let's see if we can do that right now. Here's Craigle with the serve. Bowman, now it's just an opportunity for a great set. Marie. Wow. And now, <laughs> oh, little Who teamwork there. That was I couldn't Kelsey see. Webb. In the way. Kelsey Webb. She bring it left hand, just kind of good job. That was excellent. The set was a little wide, and so Marie just had to keep it alive, and then Kelsey was able to. 
get us the point. And now the Lady Tigers have reeled off four straight. I'm surprised the Huntsville coach has not called a timeout after this run. They can tie it up right here. You called it. Pragle. And that's, oh, thought we had a point again. They free ball it back to us. Here's an opportunity. And now Webb. Wow. And Very nice hit. Webb, it's all tied up at 15. The Lady Tigers were down 15-10, and now it's all tied up. I thought that one was going to hit the floor. Lady Tigers keep it alive, and now Gregson, she's going to get it down. Yeah. Lady Tigers have reeled off six straight at 16-15. And Coach Baker is still no timeout. I'm surprised this kind of rhythm and this kind of momentum. She's got two timeouts per game and did not has not used one yet. And there's another, it's 17-15. You know, she's been at Huntsville for quite a while. If you are watching, go to pgtigersonline.com. Let us know where you're watching from. There is an event chat page, you can go there. And a nice play that time. Sierra Creek breaks the serve. And the Lady Eagles now have it. It's 17-16. Lady Tigers in the league. Serving to number 12. That's Courtney, Courtney Todd. Todd. Bowman. Pragle. Gregson keeps it alive. And there we go. They call us in the net, I guess, huh? I, I couldn't really I, tell. I thought we got the point. Maybe I don't it, know I, that we got it over the net. Oh, nice punch. Nice job. This Taylor. is the one we need to get right here. That was really good. A mm. little wide there, and now we've given up three straight after taking the lead. 18-17, Lady Eagles. She tried to place it there in the corner, just slightly a little wide there. Ooh. From where I was sitting, I couldn't see the floor. I thought it hit inside, so it had to be close. So we've got to stop it here. Yeah, it's 1917. They've now reeled off four straight. Here's an opportunity right here. Wow. Nice return that time by the Lady Eagles. Unable to get it back over, 2017. Coach Lay is going to take her second time out. Probably a good time. They reeled off five straight. We did seven. They did five. We're going to take a commercial break and be back after this. If you're looking for America's most dependable, long-running, full-size truck, then you're looking for the Chevy Silverado. And you'll find a fantastic selection at Everett Chevrolet right off of I-49. But right now, they're excited about the totally redesigned Tahoe and Suburban. If you're looking to move your small team around, you can do it in style with Everett Chevrolet. And you'll also find two of America's favorite sports cars there, the Chevy Camaro and the Corvette Stingray. New or used, you'll find it a customer-friendly, family-owned Everett Chevrolet, I-49, and Elm Springs Road in Springdale. Okay, we're back. Lady Tigers who reeled off seven straight. It was 15 to 10. It went 17-15. Now the Lady Eagles have reeled off five straight. 2017 serving is Courtney Todd. She's gotten these five points for Lady Eagles. Let's hope that timeout will break the momentum. We can get a little bit of momentum and get our student section going over here. Might help. Now Marie with a chance. Nice placement there. Good, got the stop. 2018. 
You know, there was not, that she, I think she made her mind up almost in the air. She she was going to go, looked like she was going to go hard, and then she saw how they collapsed, uh -huh. and she just placed it right over nice. the air. It's an excellent play that time by Marie. Nice serve by Kilborn. Here's Webb. And another. I'll tell you what. Sierra Creek has made some excellent plays there on the front line for Huntsville. I would say she has been a major part of the, their lead today. Now serving is number 44, Casey Collins. Craig will get it back over. Here's an opportunity right here. Oh, she's going to get called into the net. That was set up perfect. Yeah, just just hit the net that time. Kelsey Webb, now we're down four. We don't have another timeout, so we're going to have to play this one out. 22-18. Bowman. Wow. Just, just rolled right over. A little out of place. 23-18. The Lady Tigers. Bought their way back in it, and Lady Eagles, I give them a lot of credit. They lost momentum and got it back. That was a nice placement. Nice job that time by Webb. Now coming in for Webb is Gerwig. Landry Laird's going to serve. 23-19. Lady Tigers need, <laughs> we need at least four right here. Nice job wow. by Gerwig. Here's a great opportunity. Nice block that time by Creek. Boy, we are fighting hard. Boy. Well, wow. Wow. We fought hard. They, that was a good volley by both teams. Really was. Nice play. Creek was able to get the block on the on the kill opportunity. We kept it in play very well and then able to finally rest the point away. 23-20, layered to serve. They're going to get double hit that time, 23-21. Two more, Landry. Let's go. Get us in this thing. 23-21. Lady Tigers, this has been an excellent game, a, a, a game that has gone back and forth as far as momentum. They free the ball. This is an opportunity for us right here. Gerwig. A lot of power that time. Wow, ah, just a little wide. A little wide, 24-21. Once again, you're, it was Creech again right in the middle. Well, Gerwin went for the block, and, and you know, whenever you can just get a hand on a good, powerful hand like she did, it was able to stop the momentum of the ball, and here we go. Here's Gerwig again. Vaughn, it's going to go long. 24, 22, Bowman to serve. Gregson back go, in. Katie. Gregson coming in. We got Gerwig, Gregson, and. It's Taylor Spinks serving. Spinks is serving. 24, 22. We need two points here to keep this game alive. Serve goes over. Here's an opportunity. They free ball it over. Here's Craigle going to give it over to Bowman. Bowman. Nice Good job. Hit. Nice hit. And now we're within one point of stretching this yeah, thing that's out. That's good. That's good. Oh. That's good. Katie had a good hit there. And now here is Taylor Spinks. Spinks. Something didn't look oh, right. Oh, they, the, they got in the net. That's we good. tied it up. That's hey, good. we got it back. 24, 24 all. 24 all. The Lady Tigers have battled back twice from five-point deficits. It's all tied up at 24. Here's Spinks. Spinks. Vaughn. Nice job yes. over there by Craigle. Oh, they almost went to the net again. I thought it did. Laird to hit. And the Lady Tigers have scored back. It was 24-21. They're one point away from stealing this thing. Been down twice by five. By Once five. 15 to 10. That'd be good. And our students are getting, getting a 
a little bit more excited over there. Here we go. Spinks. Oh, wow. nice. That wow. Was. Delaney Tempton. That was, uh, I got to tell you, that was impressive. <laughs> That gave the wrong point there. It's 25 all. That was impressive. She was. She <laughs> that elevated. Went, that went straight down. There is Embry. Craigle. Wow. Look at Bonnie Craigle. That one was a pretty good hit there, too. <laughs> now Gregson back in. Craigle, she wanted it. 26 25. This game's been a battle. And it's just the first one. Oh, we got a long night ahead of us. Here's Bowman. Bowman trying to serve for the for the game point. That's wide. It's going to go to the Lady Tigers. Hey, hey, they pull it off. Good job. They pull it off. 27-25. Wow. The Lady Tigers down once, 15 to 10, and again, I believe it was 23-18. They were able to storm back and steal this one, 27-25, and the Lady Tigers win. Well, Ron, that was very exciting. If we got more of that coming, this is going to be a very fun evening tonight. This has one of those five-set feelings. It really does. <laughs> it really does. Well, let's go to commercial break. We'll be back after this. You just bought that first home or maybe the first new car and you want it properly covered. Think Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence. Or maybe you just welcome into the world that little gift of a child. You want to make sure that their future is secure. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Let's face it, you want someone local, someone that you know, someone that can be by your side when you need them to be there. Think Mark Spence and Shelter Insurance. Home, life, auto, RV, boat, motorcycle insurance. Think Mark Spence, your local shelter insurance agent. Call 846-2999. That's 846-2999. Shelter Insurance and Mark Spence proudly support Tiger Athletics and activities. Carmart of Northwest Arkansas. Come on down and see why Carmart continues to earn the repeat business with so many customers. For over 100 years, the Lugan Fuel name has served the area of Prairie Grove with honor and integrity in a family's most dire time. Four generations of excellence in service. All aspects of caring for your loved one are handled with tender care as well as with the honor and dignity they deserve. The type of service, the monument, every single aspect is handled with that special Lugan Fuel care, including the opportunity to work with them on pre-planning. If you have any questions, please call 846-2141. That's 846-2141. Lloyd Wayne Lugan Buell. Stacy Lugan Buell, J.C. Dobbs, or Dwayne Cunningham stand ready to continue that Lugan Buell tradition. For more information, they invite you to visit their website, luganbuell.com. I was too soft. I think if we, that second game, remember how we came back and we played a little overtime in that or extra point? If we would have pulled that one out, we may have, we may, we may, we may have won or we at least would have been a Right. But I think that – That took a lot out of us. Yeah. Because, yeah, that last game, it was almost like the other one. Well, we're back. What an exciting first game of the match. First set of the match goes to the Prairie Grove Lady Tigers up 1-0. to zero. And, uh, boy, a lot of great play, a lot of teamwork today there. Uh, Webb, Craigle. Gerwig, Gregson, Bowman, Spinks, Laird, uh, Kilborn, they all, everyone contributed that they time. Did. And there was there was times when Webb got us a few points. There was time when Gregson got us a few points. Craigle got us a few. Gerwin with good blocks. Spinks doing a great serve. Craigle doing a great serve. Everyone just contributed. And uh, and take nothing away, uh, Sierra Creek and Delaney Tempton were very impressive on the front line there for the Lady Eagles. There is... Spinks with a serve. I always like to see who gets this first point. Here's an opportunity. We got a chance right here for a nice. Wow. Rally wound up. Nice Good. job that time Dude. by their libero. That was a hard fought point. Was and I you got to give credit there to 
Lady Eagles, especially Paige Anderson. They libero dug that Craigle uh, hit out. You know, um, after this point, Ron, I'll, I'm going to make another comment about the last game and the score. Nice job by Laird. Craigle has to just get it back over. Now Craigle back there again is Anderson. She's doing a nice job. Laird. Nice. That had to be in the net. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh well, I guess not. Right here where the line judge is is right in my view. I gonna, I'm going to yeah. ease, uh, ease over a bit. Craigle. Wow. Nice job that time by that 23. That's Timpson. What I was going to say is, Coach Green Wait. always Coach Green always used to tell me in the volleyball games, he'd say, whoever gets to 21st wins. <laughs> we've, and I'll tell you, every game from last year, I think with exception of one, that happened. And we've had it happen twice this year already <laughs> in our game. So it's uh, we've been uh, very, very interesting. Oh, and Bowman hits it in the net. Lady Tigers down 4-0. Need, need to break the serve right here. Riley did a good job right there in the middle. Put it back over and somehow or another, Lady Eagles kept getting it back. Well, we're gonna have to break serve here soon. Quick hit. And she's gonna call, Coach Lady's gonna call a timeout, 6-0. That was, uh, Lady Eagles did not like falling down, <laughs> no. but letting that last game go, they've come out really strong in this this uh, second set of the match. It wasn't for lack of effort. It just seemed like they got the rolls and well, they had a couple of real good plays. Tipton there in the middle. Yeah, you're, uh, you're right. She's done very well. One of the things that uh, I've noticed uh, the last couple of volleys we're doing good on the first back and forth two or three, and after about the third one, it seems like we're a little out of position. Right. And so um, we've got to be able to hang, hang in there in our positions and stay in the right place. We haven't seen Michaela Calvin in yet. She usually gets a little playing time. Mm -hmm. Yet to see her in. Craigle had to really work hard not to hit the net that time. Good block. Nice block that time by the Lady Tigers. Gregson misjudged that one, thought it was going to go long, and it dropped just there in the corner. Wow. <laughs> Kilborn's going to come in for Gregson. Wow. There's tempted again. It's nine to zero. This is a lot like the first game last night with Berryville. They stormed out eleven to zero, and and uh, we have really struggled this game. Bowman and another point. I got a feeling we're going five tonight. I think we're going to go five sets tonight. I do too. Well, there we, we get our first point with a lot of help. 10 to one, Lady Tigers are down. So Marie's coming back in. 
Pragel to serve. Gerwig, Bowman, Gregson on the front line there. Here comes Pragel. What do we have, four seniors, a junior, and a sophomore out there? Yes, that is, no, we got two, uh, no, that'd be uh, three seniors, two juniors, and two a sophomore. Juniors. Pragel is a junior, as is oh. Bowman. Ten to two. Here's an opportunity right here, and there's a nice job that, that time really good. by Gerwig. Ten to three. Can the Lady Tigers <laughs> get another momentum going here and get back in this set? They're down ten to three. We're down ten to zero. Well, they rattled off ten. We can too, right? Cragle to serve. Ten three. Lady Tigers trail. Free ball it over. Here's a chance for us to, whoa. Tipton didn't quite get her. Well, we're not quite getting the set that we need here. That's it. And Marie, <laughs> wow, wow. She came with a little power that time, I think, Ron. Intensity. Bonnie Craigel has a couple more points, and we're right back in this thing. Here's Craigel to serve. Craigel. And a nice oh, block. block. Gerwig. Gerwig. Yes. Well, there we go. Yes. That was sweet. And I'll tell and you that what, that was, who was that on the front line there? That went, Was that number four? That was 44. That was Casey Collins. Or was that? No, I think that was Tipton that came after that time, so. Nice job by the sophomore Gerwig. And Tipton's only a sophomore as well. Wow. That'll be fun the next couple of years. In and there's Marie nice again. Nice hit, Marie. She is excited hey. tonight. Hey, it's four. Ten to six. I like what Closing you said. It up. Intensity. That, that's, I mean, that's. Uh, Oh, boy, that was a nice serve. Gets him way out of position there. Going to call two hit. That's Ladies good. Tigers have pulled 10 to 7. And Coach Baker's going to call a timeout. Okay, well, that's good. As, um, for the rest of this week, what's what's happening with volleyball on the schedule? The, on the schedule this week, uh, tomorrow night was supposed to be scheduled with Lincoln. And right. Lincoln no longer has a team. Okay. And so uh, they, they will have tomorrow night off. Okay. And they will play Thursday night this same Huntsville team over in Huntsville. And Huntsville. And then next uh, Tuesday, we'll have Gravit here at home. That's what I was wondering because this is not a night we usually play on because it was a, the game, makeup game from the postponed it due to the week of Coach Green's funeral. Um, it's going to be a busy week. Yep. Parent teacher conferences on Tuesday <laughs> and Thursday night, 3 30 to 6 30. And then we have. Uh, Friday night's football game against uh, who else but the Huntsville, Huntsville Eagles. Eagles. Here comes Bonnie Craigle. Wow, that was so close. Here's an opportunity. Can't, okay, here comes Laird. She gets it back over. Nice job by the Lady Eagles to keep it in play. Now here's our chance right here. And now here's Bowman. Oh. They're going to call them into the in net. The net. Awesome. Lady Tigers have stormed back H from a 10-0 deficit. It's 10 to 8. Craigle is on a roll here and getting a lot of support from her teammates as well. Here is Craigle to serve. Craigle down the line. Boy, she is really placing the ball well. And now wow. Tipton, Tipton breaks the serve, but Hey, the Lady Tigers are back in it. It's it's a game Striking again. Striking distance. There we go. Absolutely. We now get a good stop here. Serving is Delaney Tip Tipton, and she is only a sophomore. Boy, she is tall. They've got a bright future with her. Wow. wow. 
We set them up pretty well that time. And that was one of those Sierra, Sierra Creek. Creek. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to put her <laughs> set her. She gets enough help without, they didn't give them their point that time. I notice you're not running over there quite as quick. No, I didn't go quite as quick <laughs> on this one. There we go. Okay, it's 12 to nine. Yeah, I didn't see a need to go help them out on that, to. Ron. <laughs> 12-9, Lady Tigers trail. Been down by as many as 10, and now Landry Laird's in to serve. Laird, good placement. And there we go. Lady Tigers back within two. They down 10-0, went to 10-8, then 12-8, now 12-10. Here is Laird with the serve. Boy, that dropped really nice. Wow. Oh, uh, they're going to call. Going to call a net there against the Lady Tigers, 13-10. I'm not sure which one. Not sure which one they called it on. Looks like they may have called on Marie, but I'm not sure. Laird. Looks like Here's the opportunity for, oh, it's going to be an opportunity for Marie. Wow. wow. Beautiful hit. Boy, she's on fire tonight. They right? set that up. <laughs> well. That's three kills now for Marie. Katie Bowman. Bowman to serve. Well, we can't quite get past this two down. Let's see if we can do it this time. Wow. And there beautiful we go. Block. 13 to 12. This was 10 to 0, Ron. This just tells you this sport, of all sports, and you know I've talked about this in the past, momentum, momentum, momentum. The Lady Tigers have rested it back. And now here is, here's another opportunity. Can Spinks get the set for Webb? Oh, Webb does, and the Lady Tigers are now tied 13 all. That's good. You know, Kelsey had a great block the time before. Turned around. So we're tied 13-13. 13 all, and here comes Bowman to serve. Bowman. Another good serve by the Lady Tigers. Oh. Nice job. Number 14, that is. That almost looked like a knuckleball coming over. Ka yeah, Katie Martin, or no, I'm sorry, that was uh, Brianna Watkins. Nice job. Or, or a change up in softball. Yeah. It just <laughs> had that look because yeah. I'm going to kill it, but it just didn't go anywhere. And now serving is Casey Collins. And another, oh wow, wow. we got a break there. <laughs> Boy, we were able to keep it alive, but there it comes. Wow. Nice placement. I'll tell you right there that uh, Ellie Emb Embry, she saw that opening. She didn't have to hit it hard. She saw it was wide open there. And she went for it. Now there's Bowman. Gregson. Wow. Whoa, nice job. But they're able to do it. It's a good effort. I, Marie I had tried a, to get it down in the. I, I had a feeling that after Marie had killed three hard ones, that uh -huh. she was that she was going to take off because they were going to expecting it. She did a nice job that time. And now serving is Jalen Kilborn. Kilborn to serve. And it goes right into uh -huh. the net. 16-14. Lady Tigers have tied it, but can't quite get over the hump here. Okay, this is Paige Anderson. Anderson's done some nice digging back in the back for them tonight. And there, wow, boy, we were lucky that Tipton didn't go for a major kill there. Here's Cragle. Wow, Good. nice block by, by Tipton. Tipton. That was a nice block by the sophomore Tipton. From Huntsville. Bonnie had a good hit on it. Yeah, she, boy, she just timed that uh, that block perfectly. And Anderson. And now here it goes. This time a little softer. Uh, Bonnie Spinks keeps it alive. Re changed the way she played that a little bit that time with Tipton in front of her. Now Laird just has to get it back over. 
Wow, they catch a break. Oh, wow, they were going to play for it to go out, and we got, fortunately, it went in. Lady Tigers get a nice break there. They, they thought it was going to, she was on the line. It looked like it was going to wow. go out. We got a break. It, it almost hit that speaker up there. <laughs> There's Webb serving this time. Webb, oh, no, no, no. Just get it back over. That's going to go out in the yeah. net. And Coach Lays is wanting to say over the net. Well, and there wasn't a hit there. Coach Lays not no. not happy. She not palmed ha the ball and pushed it over. She, there was not a hit. It went from it, it went out, but they called net on the Lady Tigers, and serving is Embry. Tipton again. You know, that, that hurt a little bit of momentum. You know, like you yep. keep talking about, this is a game of momentum. Wow, nice serve. Laird, that's not something that happens often with Laird. No. Coach Lay's going to take a timeout. Let's go to timeout with him. Lady Tigers trail 15-20. I wonder if Buck Lewis had any idea as to what he was starting when he sold his first Ford back in 1946. He was on the square in Fayetteville. Then Tom and Herb Lewis made the move to the current location on North College back in 1969. But through all those years, a Lewis has always been at the helm, and that tradition continues today. It's that kind of family value and heritage that makes Lewis Automotive the place to buy your next vehicle. Be it a Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, or Jeep, new or used, you can still find a Lewis standing behind every single deal. Award-winning service. Six locations and over a thousand vehicles. It's amazing. A lot has changed, but the Lewis heritage and tradition continues. Lewis Automotive proudly serving Northwest Arkansas since 1946. Okay, okay, we're back, and Lady Tigers throwing 15 to 20. Embry serving. Now here, opportunity, and there's Gerwig. Lady Eagles make a great play to keep it alive. Now Lady Tigers just got to get it back over. A little sloppy by both teams right now. And they're going to call in the net, so Lady Tigers break the serve, get the serve back, 20 to 16. Spinks the serve. 20 16. Taylor Spinks serving for the Lady Tigers. Drops, almost dropped it in, and now... Wow. wow, the Lady Tigers keep that one alive. I don't know how they did that. And again, now they're going to call it. Yep, yep, yep. Called a double hit. Called double hit on Lady Tiger. 21-16. I think the fans yeah. sense a little inconsistency <laughs> by the... Nice block there by Riley Gerwig. 21-17. Gregson come back in. Craig to serve. This is where we got a little roll last time. Can we do it again? Down by four. 21-17. Craig right here in front of the camera. Nice serve. Gregson. Gets it over, and now here's a chance for Gerwig. And Beautiful she gets it down. Shot, nice Gerwig. job. 21-18. When Craigle serves like that and makes them work hard for their first two hits, they're not getting a good setup. Right. That that gives us that first opportunity to do something. Let's see if we can do it again. Here comes Craigle. Oh, and Craigle uh, right. Ah. Hits that hurt. one in the net. She was going for that. Just right down the line here, and uh, now serving is Tipton. I like Tipton on the back row better than I do the front row. <laughs> Although she's a good server as well. There, here's Bowman. Ah, uh, I think. 
just a little bit out of place. Yep, 23-18. This is where we were last game. Lady Tigers have fought back from a two five-point deficits tonight, have fought back from a 10-point deficit. Can they do it once more? Wow. Nice job. Got to give credit there. Number 44, that was Casey Collins. Was that Collins or was that? Yeah, I think that was Collins. 24-18, set point for the Lady Eagles. Okay. All right, Lady Tigers are going to try to keep it alive. We just need to keep fighting right here, no matter what happens, just to make sure. That Landry Laird to serve, 24-19. Can Laird get us five? Laird, serve. Long. That one's long, 24-20. Four more to go to keep this game alive. 24-20, Landry Laird serving for the Lady Tigers. Battled back several times tonight already. Good serve. It was a nice block by what, Bowman. By Bowman, and now here's Gregson. And wow. She, I'll tell, tell you what. <laughs> Marie's having a great game. <laughs> And, and wow, nice timeout that time by, by Coach Baker because I think right there, you she was like, okay, I'm not going to let them get that going again. No. It's happened before. You could tell Marie was zoned in on that one just by her bot as she was jumping up, ready for the hit. That was a very nice job that time by the Lady Tigers, all kind of keeping that one alive. Uh, Bowman with a nice block, and uh, boy, the Lady Tigers have, uh, <laughs> it's a, they've been down several times tonight. If they can get this point, they may reestablish that momentum they just had. Coach Baker trying to break it with the timeout. 24-21, Lady Tigers trail. They're up one set to none. There's Laird with the serve. They free ball it over, and, can, wow. and that's going to do it. Unable to quite get that comeback this time. It's going to be a victory for the Lady Eagles, and we're going to go to a break. One set apiece. If you're looking for America's most dependable, long-running, full-size truck, then you're looking for the Chevy Silverado, and you'll find a fantastic selection at Everett Chevrolet right off of If you're looking for America's most dependable, long-running, full-size truck, then you're looking for the Chevy Silverado, and you'll find a fantastic selection at Everett Chevrolet right off of I-49. But right now, they're excited about the totally redesigned Tahoe and Suburban. If you're looking to move your small team around, you can do it in style with Everett Chevrolet. And you'll also find two of America's favorite sports cars there, the Chevy Camaro and the Corvette Stingray. New or used, you'll find it a customer-friendly, family-owned Everett Chevrolet, I-49 and Elm Springs Road in Springdale. Life can come at you from a lot of different directions, and you need to be prepared with the proper insurance. Let John Galligan of the Galligan Insurance Alliance make sure that you, your loved ones, and your home, and all that's near and dear to you is properly covered. You see, the Galligan Insurance Alliance is an independent insurance agent and allows him the flexibility to shop the very best policy at the very best price, and this gives you the coverage and the peace of mind that you need at the rate that fits your budget. It's the best case scenario when it comes to covering all that is near and dear to you. Check them out on Facebook or drop by the website GalliganInsuranceAlliance.com and you can always call 479-282-0605, 479-282-0605, the Galligan Insurance Alliance. Love God, love others, serve others. The simple motto of Prairie Grove Christian Church. Whether supporting missions in Japan, in Africa, doing mission work in Cambodia, or homes in Texas, or fun for the entire family with board basketball and cheerleading, you'll find our members seeking to show love for God through a neighbor. If you are looking for a church home, we invite you to experience GCC. We have convenient service times on Sundays at 9 10 a.m. and we have ministry for children in church, Western Washington County, and beyond. Love God, love others, serve others. Grove Christian Church. Well, one set apiece, and the uh, Lady Eagles will serve this time. You 
know, this is turning into be a really nice night. The weather outside, this, I love this fall. First day of fall starts, is it tomorrow think, or think, is it today? I think it was right about, you know, this afternoon, about 5 o'clock, something yep. like that. I don't know. Yeah, it is today. Day's the 22nd. That's right. Just uh, the weather this morning, that little cool air. Kind of hard to believe. Here we go. Starting our third game. And it is Ellie Embry serving. Marie gets that one. Here's Bowman. Bowman, nice hit. Again, digging down. And now here is Bowman again. Bowman. Wow. Back that and was forth. Good. Wow. And double hit. Double hit. And the late for the first time tonight, the Lady Tigers get the first point. First time this evening of any set that we've gotten first point, Bowman to serve. Tipton. Oh, beautiful block there, Riley. Gerwig gets the block. Best start of the night so far for the Lady Tigers. 2-0, Bowman to serve again. Whoa, that barely got over the <laughs> net. And that plays we well go. for us. It's good. 3-0. 3-0, Lady Tigers. I like that run. Well, <laughs> you know, Riley is, is just almost every game you can see her. Getting better and better. better. Yep. Just becoming more of an imposing wow. force there. What a nice serve by Bowman. Wow. And a great just play by, by, by Tipton Embry. Again. That was Embry that was time. Was it Embry? Yep. Coming in to serve number 14 is Brianna Watkins. Three to one, Lady Tigers. That's going to go into the net for one, Lady Tigers. Webb comes in, Landry Laird to serve. This is a front line to be reckoned with. You've got Webb, Gregson, and Craigle. And now, nice serve by Landry Laird, good placement. They just have to free ball it over. Now here's an opportunity for Lady Tigers. Webb, they're going to double hit. Going to get a two hit that time on Taylor Spinks. Well, that was nicely set up. We just didn't quite get it there. Tipton serving now again for Huntsville. Boy, it just gets it over the net enough to 5-2 Lady Tigers. That just got into the net really for both of us, and it, they had a hard time. Well, it barely got over. We got it back. So Here Bonnie comes. with serve. Craigle. Ladies need to talk a little bit. Wow. Nice. Oh, there's Webb there go, with Kelsey. a kill. Hey. Lady Tigers with their largest lead of the night at 6-2. Kelly Ray up there smiling. And he should be. <laughs> Kelly Ray Webb should be smiling after that hit by his daughter. And nice job that time by Sierra Creek. She's been quiet a little bit since that first game or the first set of the match and uh, now serving is number 12. That is Courtney Todd. And Todd's the one that got him on the 10-0 run earlier. Laird hits it from the back row. There we go. Casey Collins has done that a couple times tonight when she doesn't get that that nice set. She's knocked it in the net a couple the of times. Yep. Jalen Kilborg comes in for Gregson. She's serving. And there the Lady we go. Tigers now up five, eight to three. Eight to three, Lady Tigers. Kilborn serving. Can we get it a little more, Kilborn? Wow. Gonna In the net. 9-3 Lady Tigers lead. What we know is no lead is safe in this game. <laughs> no lead is safe That's as Jalen sure. serves. Jaybird gets it over. Now an opportunity to go right back to Bowman. Going to get it for two hits again. 9-4.
9-4, serving is Casey Collins. They've got Creek on the front line. There, that's gonna go long. Good hit. Bowman went for it just a little long, 9-5. Bowman is another, she's been very consistent this year, but she's getting better each game as well. Craigle digs down deep for that one. But the Lady Tigers unable to keep alive. It was 9-4, nine, now it's 9-6. Collins to serve, Craigle. That was quick hands there. Was that Spinks? Looked like, looked like Taylor, yes. I can't quite. My, my <laughs> normally these, <laughs> they stand sideways. <laughs> on the, he's a pretty. Gunner's just he's, a big boy. Do what? Gunner's just a yeah, big he, boy. Yeah, Gunner's a good sized young man and it gets over his web. 10-6, Lady Tigers. Nice job by Webb, oh. unable to play it out of the net. We just couldn't get it up in the air. So Landry Laird coming back in. Landry's done a great job. She's been the libero for all three years. She was that as a sophomore, junior, and now as a senior. 10-7. Jalen. And now a chance. That goes down. That was an awesome hit. Gerwig. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Gerwig, Gregson, and I'll tell you, Craigle and, and Bowman are all hitting some big ones tonight. Spinks to serve. 11-7. Lady Tigers in the lead. Nice block. Oh, Great but unable, block. Oh, unable I to, thought it didn't ah, get over. Didn't quite get over as both Craigle and Gerwig tried to. So it's 11 8. Hmm. Prairie Grove. Serving is Embry. Ellie Embry serving for the Lady Eagles. 11 8. This is close. All of them have been close. And a lot of momentum changes in this match. There's Gerwig. That was a beautiful hit. Gerwig is, oh. I was just sitting there looking as, as that service was taking place. You had Gerwig and Tipton looking at each other. That's probably going to happen quite a bit over the next yeah, few years. A couple more Both years of, of that. Both sophomores. Into the net, and the Lady Tigers back up by five. I think we may have gotten a little break that time <laughs> with, that, with them getting in the net. Katie Bowman. Wow. Oh, didn't quite get that one over. 13-9, Lady Tigers lead. Boy, if we could get a little momentum, a little roll going here and build on a four-point lead, get it up to about six, seven, eight. Like I said, no lead safe, but, boy, that would be a lot better than this where we are right now, even though four-point lead, but it's not been safe tonight. Wow, beautiful hit. Gerwig, Riley. I think that's her third or fourth one this game. She's done well. Now Landry Laird in 14-9. Laird across the line is Webb, Gregson, and Gerwig, or and uh, Craigle. Spinks. And the Lady Tigers, I'll tell you what, give the Lady Eagles a lot of credit for keeping that one alive. Lady Tigers able to get the, the points, 15 to nine. Layer to serve. Nice That's job good. by Landry, 16 to nine. Thank you, Coach Lay, She's, she was getting a little nervous a while ago. And I'm telling wow. you what, Landry. Landry has found the soft spot over there on the Lady Eagles, and Coach Baker's going to take a timeout, and probably good. a good timeout for her. So 17-9 for a grow. And this is a different feel than either of the last two games. Oh, absolutely. You know, we, we kind of played chase in that first game and came back and won it, uh, and then closed with the – <laughs> Ten points. Wow. As a reminder, at the end of today's game, we'll select an Everett Chevrolet player of the game. 
Laird got it once, and uh, Gerwig got it uh, last game. Have opportunity. Tell you what, Gerwig's probably a candidate again today. Tell you what. 17-9, Lady Tigers lead. Marie's had some great hits. It's fun watching from this vantage point. It is, definitely. And uh, just you can see that play develop. Big hit right there by Marie again. N nice job by the Lady Eagles this time. It's going to go long. Yep, that's long. That's good. Okay, so 18-9. That was close, but it was 20. long. That was right in front of us. So that was easy to see, but that was close. We've got to get to 20. We're getting close. <laughs> Tipton, Blair Good keeps it dig. alive. Can Bonnie get it over? Yes, she can. Bonnie Craigle free balls it over and keeps it alive. Now here comes Lady Eagles get it back. Now here's our opportunity. Here's Craigle. Bonnie. Nice job by the Lady Eagles. Wow. Webb. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Just got to get it over. And Landry. Wow. Oh, goodness. Nice, nice job. Good hustle. They Good. got out of position chasing the ball. Yep, you're right, Ron. And exactly right. You're right. They got out of position uh, and just couldn't quite. Just couldn't get back. Get back into it. Tipped and serving. We don't need to set that up very many times. Whoa. I guess we've got a disagreement on whether it was in or out. I, what did it look like? I couldn't see it. I, the box on the speaker was right. Wow. So they called it. 19 to 10. Called it out. So point for Prairie Grove. Tough call that time. That's so bad I, for I young. I couldn't see with the, I, that's a lot of pressure on your. Yep. 20 to 10. You got to give the judge over here credit because he really never deviated from his call at all. No, and there was probably pressure to do that. Right. And oh, there's that's Craigle. A beautiful serve. Beautiful job by Craigle. 21 10. Lady Tigers four points away from going up two to one. But I will tell you, I, I'm just going to say no lead is safe tonight. <laughs> no. It's just been that kind of match. Both teams playing hard and getting on a lot of runs. This has been by far the best that the Lady Tigers have done this in this match. Wow. And look at Webb. Look at Webb. I'll That's tell you, Ron, everyone's playing so well. There, there, there's Everybody's contributing at a high level. I, I still question that hit that was coming this way uh, being a lift. I, I yep. didn't see a hit. There we go. There's Craigle again, another good serve, 22 to 10. And there's nice. Webb again, another block. Nice block. 23 10. Lady Tigers just two points away. Need to finish it out. You know, Bonnie seems to be able to almost curve, put on that hit. Move. There's Spinks. Here we go. Can Spinks? Wow, wow. look at Spinks! Look at Spinks! Look at Spinks! They oh. Called in the net, but goodness. Are they calling the net? They called in the net from on Huntsville. Oh, but it, uh, that was a great hit but by Spinks. But it was Spinks. a great hit. It really was. Well, game okay. point. Game point. Bonnie serving. I like it. And you've got an intimidating, imposing front line up there. Wow. Well, we're lucky not getting that that time. Yeah. Now, now we're back in position. Gregson goes, and she Beautiful gets it. Hit. Yes. Wow. Yes, 25 to 10. Lady Tigers put a nice pasting that okay. time for that game. So it's two games to one. Two games to one, Lady Tigers lead, and that one was a very impressive performance. Let's go to break. Lady Tigers up two sets to one. 
Ask yourself this question. Where can I go for all my entertainment needs for the family? That also includes Prairie Grove Athletics. Well, the obvious answer, PG Telco. At PG Telco, they can bundle all of your needs. Phone, including local and long distance, internet, and direct TV. All bundled together, making PG Telco your one-stop shop for all things fun for the entire family. Give them a call today and find out how much fun can be bundled up for your family by PG Telco. Call 267-7200. That's 267-7200. PG Telco. Built on community, focused on progress. Looking for free checking that isn't free of extras? It's as easy as finding your nearest Arvest bank. Our free blue checking comes with lots of features, including free online and mobile banking, and the ability to deposit a check just by taking a picture of it with your smartphone. And since it's from Arvest, you'll have the freedom of more than 240 locations and 7 to 7 banking. You shouldn't have to pay for convenience. Switch to free blue checking from Arvest Bank. I wonder if Buck Lewis had any ideas starting when he sold his first Ford back in 1946. He was on the square in Fayetteville. Then Tom and Herb Lewis made the move to the car North College back in 1969. But through all those years, a Lewis has always been at the helm, and that tradition continues today. It's that kind of family value and heritage that makes Lewis Automotive the place to buy your next vehicle. Be it a Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, or Jeep, new or used, you can still find a Lewis standing behind every single deal. Award-winning service, six locations, and over a thousand vehicles. It's amazing. A lot has changed, but the Lewis heritage and tradition continues. Lewis Automotive proudly serving Northwest Arkansas since 1946. Okay, we're back for the fourth set of the match. And hopefully final. Let's hope final. I mean, Lady Tigers up 2-1. That one was not close, 25-10. That one was close. Lady Tigers got on a roll and really just took off. Here we go, Taylor Spinks. Spinks. And it's a great way there to start. There we go. Lady Tigers. That's the first start. time all night it's been <laughs> we hadn't just yep. fought yep. for that first point. 1-0 Spinks serving. Lady Tigers trying to close out the match with this set. Now Gregson. Here's Spinks. Two hits. Two hits. Okay, that's bringing Brianna Watkins in for Watkins. Gregson. And now here's Bowman. Can she keep it in? Oh, nice job by the Lady Eagles to keep it alive. Big hit by Riley. <laughs> wow. That was sweet. Oh. I'll tell you what, tonight, I, and I, after this serve, I have to tell you what tonight reminds me a little of. Katie Bowman with the serve. And the Lady there Tigers. We go. This is the first time since the 2012 when we used to have Witherspoon and, and Callie Sue that would really do a lot of that. Yeah. Tonight's the first night probably since that season I've seen us hit, have that many kills. It has been great. There is Bowman with the serve. Wow. And a nice block. Nice, nice job. Nice block by Gerwig. 4-1, Lady Tigers. Lady Tigers have really been on a roll. You think it was like 15-10. to 10. We close it out or close to that, and uh, boy, we scored a lot of the last points. And oh, nice job. Number 21 that time, that was Darian Sulfridge. Nice job. Now here is Laird. They free ball it over. Here's a little chance for the Lady Tigers. They just have to get it back over. 
Neither team's getting a good look right there now. There we go. Wow. Oh, didn't quite get where we needed that time, but that's going to go out. out. Five two. That's good. Kelsey Webb coming in for Riley. Five two. Laird. Ooh. That's going to go wide. Five three. Webb, Gregson, Taylor, Spinks on the front row. Craigle, Bowman, and Laird. Here's Craigle. Nice, nice job. Nice setup that time. It really was. Bonnie had a good hit, good placement. I think she was set up that time by Laird. It was a nice job. Oh, no, uh, Laird got it, and then uh, Spinks able to set her. Here is Bonnie Craigle. Good serve. Wow. Yeah, they're going to get up. 7-3. Boy, let's stretch it out right here. Need a little bit of a stretch out here. 7-3. The girls are smiling and relaxed. Playing well. And play, in spite of the, I mean, I don't want to say in spite of. Wow. Even though they have it's that great. relaxed look, they have played with a lot of intensity and continue to play right. that way. Coming into the game, number one, Leslie Vaughn. Coming off the court is Brianna Watkins. That is Casey Collins serving. And now Webb. Wow. Nice hit, Kelsey. So Jalen coming in. Jalen comes in. She's going to serve. Eight to four. Good service. Now we're going to get called in the net. Yep. Yep. Kelsey was in the net that time. Eight five. Paige Anderson serving for Huntsville. And there's Wes. Nice. Beautiful hit. Again, Looked like Tipton thought it was going to be hit the first time. and kind of got her up in the air as it was passed off. Yeah, that was excellent. Again, a shout-out to Russ and Ann Thompson down in Russ, Louisiana. If anybody else uh, watching from out of state, please let us know. Go to the PG Tigers Online website. Nice Beautiful job by Webb. PG Tigers website under the uh, event chat and let us know where you're watching from. Um, it's 10-5. Ten six, miss that serve. So here we go, number four. That's Ellie Embry. Embry. She's done a good job for Huntsville tonight. She really has, and a lot in a lot of different places. There's Laird, and now here is Bowman. Nice job, return that time by Paige Anderson. That was oh, that yep. was a nice block. Yep. Four. Eleven six, Taylor Spinks to serve, Kilborn, in Laird, Craigle, Gerwig, and Bowman, and that's oh. going to go. Need to tighten those up. That's two service errors just here in the last two. Eleven seven, Lady Tigers need to keep the momentum. Coming back, right back in is Brianna Watkins. She serves, Kilborn. Here's Gerwick. Oops, we're going to call. Two hits again. 11-8. Watkins to serve again. Trying to close that Prairie Grove lead. I don't know how we got that off the ground. And we need to get it positioned now. We kind of got our legs back under us. All right, right here. I think this is going to do it. Right here. Here comes Bowman. Nope. Here's Bowman. 
Cross court. And she there gets we it. go. Nice fight that time. A lot of fight that time for the Lady Tigers. That was a good battle. Gregson coming in, Kilburn coming out, Bowman to serve. 12 8, Lady Tigers, fourth set of the match. Lady Tigers up two to one. You can see how we were got a little bit out of place, but we were able to get in in control, and Huntsville kept kind of playing chase. It's good. Nice so job. So we got the point there, 13-8. Well, that one was, you know. <laughs> kill, you know we uh, were able to fight through the ugly stage. Yep, absolutely, and, and Craigle was able to place that one. She saw them out of out of position a little bit and able to get in the right place. Bowman to serve. Five-point lead for the Lady Tigers. That's going to go oh, wide. 13-9. That one was one that maybe Bowman should have just got back over. I think she tried to place that a little bit. May have should have just said, they let's get it back over and live to play another day. Tipton serving. Wow. 13-10. Yeah. That was number 25. So Michaela Calvin coming in. Michaela Calvin coming in for Bowman. Michaela played as a sophomore, didn't play last year. Now she's back out on the team. Here is Craigle gets that one over. There we go. Another nice placement by Craigle. As a reminder, at the end of the game, we'll have an Everett Chevrolet player of the game. Fourteen to ten. Lady Tigers, Landry Laird to serve. You know, we really need to separate a little bit more. See if we can get the point. Nice job by the Lady Eagles to keep that alive. Free balls it back over. Now here comes Craigle. Nice job again by the Lady Eagles. Can they get this back over? Yes, they can. That was close to being out. Wow. Yeah, this boy, this is a, Regroup. It's a big point. Boy, what a nice volley by both teams right now. Just a little long, and it's still And works. another one. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I don't know how she pulled that because it was a little out of. It was out of position. She had to reach back. Able, very fortunate as to where it went because there was nobody right, right nobody there, there where she went. She 15, wanted to, she, I think she wanted the hard kill there, just right. didn't, didn't quite get the, the the set. And now here is Laird serving. 15-10, Lady Tigers. Wow. Nice job by number 25. That is Sierra Creek. We don't name the uh, opposing teams usually player of the game, but she's been a force for them tonight. As has Tipton. Tipton, that would be the two names that <laughs> probably would come to mind for them. Webb. Looks yeah. like they were under the net. 16 to 11, five point lead. Boy, I'd love to get this out to about eight or nine right Yes, here. we really need to because yeah. they're, they they're get some separation. Here comes Craigle to serve, 16-11, Bonnie. Wow, little adrenaline there. That one's long. I'm not so sure that Bonnie didn't go over the line on that one. That was awfully close. Oh, they, oh, no. Oh, they gave point the wrong way that time. Should be 16 12, and they were corrected. Number 44, that's Casey, Casey Collins, Collins. serve. Here's Marie. Wow. wow. She's played well. Nice block, Good block by Webb. Kelsey. Marie again, this time. Goodness. Oh. oh. Got to give, give credit that time to Lady Eagles because we came at them strong. Had some some powerful hits. 
There we go. Right into the net, 17-13. But this, this really has a feeling of what you were talking about earlier. We need to stretch this out um, and go ahead and win this thing right here. We don't need to go into five games. Well, that was close by Kilborn, but she gets over the net. Pragel. Mm. 17-14. No, and the thing is, is because we've led a lot this game, uh -huh. if we went to a fifth game, the momentum would swing back, and you right. only go to 15 in that final one. Number two, that's Paige Anderson serving. Kayla Calvin. Okay. Webb, there we go. There we go. Kelsey Webb. Her daddy was up too, up in the stands. I thought they get, I don't like the way this guy does his points. He no. do, it looks almost like you can't tell which way it's going. So Kelsey serving. Webb. Good block there. By, that was Taylor. by Spinks. Here's an opportunity, and now Gerwig. Oh. Tip, it was tip, 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 tip. Oh. I think he saw it. I thought it got tipped there. Maybe it hit the net. 18-15. Well, that's long. Yep, there you go. Well, that was close. Real close. It was almost one of those that you'd have to let go because you weren't going to be able to get a good hit. Spinks, 19-15. Lady Tigers lead. Fourth set of the match. Lady Tigers up 2-1. to one. And a wow. nice placement that time by Tipton. 19-16. Boy, we just can't quite stretch it out. You know, we've had that just if we can get a couple more points. I guess it's always that way. But, yeah. <laughs> but it, just to finish. Kayla Calvin. Here's an opportunity right here. Here's Gerwig. Wow. Oh, wow, nice job. 19-17. Is that Tipton with the block there in the middle again? I think it was, and I think Coach Lace, she thought about a timeout there, is not going to call it. Timeout, she is going to call I thought yeah. she looked like she was going to take a timeout. 19-17. She's just trying to let it go a little bit more. Let's, let's try to take this timeout with them. Life can come at you from a lot of different directions, and you need to be prepared with the proper insurance. Let John Galligan of the Galligan Insurance Alliance make sure that you, your loved ones, and your home, and all that's near and dear to you is properly covered. You see, the Galligan Insurance Alliance is an independent insurance agent and allows him the flexibility to shop the very best policy at the very best price, and this gives you the coverage and the peace of mind that you need at the rate that fits your budget. It's the best case scenario when it comes to covering all that is near and dear to you. Check them out on Facebook or drop by the website... Okay, 1917, and the Lady Eagle uh, hit it into the net. Right yeah, we, now 2017. Now Marie comes in for Jalen Kilborn. Also coming in for Michaela Calvin is Katie Bowman. 2017, Lady Tigers need to piece together two or three here. Get close to that 25 mark. 2017. So, so Katie's serving. Bowman to serve. Good block. Way to stay at it. Gerwig, great play up on the front line. 21-17. Really was. Well, she had a good good hit. 21-17, Katie Bowman. And another point for the Lady oh, Tigers. Two hits. 22-17. It took him a while to get fired up over there, but it's <laughs> better late than never. Here is Bowman, 22-17. Oh, wow. And again, Gerwig. Good, wow. Riley. 
23-17, Lady Tigers. That was a great timeout that Coach really Lee called a while ago. Now Coach now Baker's going to try to do Baker. the same. It's really good, 23-17. Stretch it out just a little bit. For over 100 years, the Lugan Fuel name has served the area of Prairie Grove with honor and integrity in a family's most dire time. Four generations of excellence in service. All aspects of caring for your loved one are handled with tender care as well as with the honor and dignity they deserve. The type of service, the monument, every single aspect is handled with that special Lugan Fuel care, including the opportunity to work with them on pre-planning. If you have any questions, please call 846-2141. That's 846-2141. Lloyd Wayne Lugan Buell. Stay 23-17, there is Bowman with the serve. Lady Eagles trying to get out of that timeout, and they do with a point, 23-18. Lady Tigers two points away from a match. Real important points right here. Need to, need to do it, tipped and serving. Lady Tigers up by five, 23-18. Gerwig. Wow. wow. And she's down. Gerwig is on fire. Wow. That was an incredible hit. Boy, she's happy too. She's coming <laughs> off with a smile on her face, and, and it's well deserved. So here it is, our, our match point. Match point right here. Can the Lady Tigers, who have battled back many times, now with a lead of six? There we go, Landry Laird. Wow. Not quite able to you know, finish. It, it just goes to show it, it, the whole night, it couldn't have been that easy. No, no, it would No <laughs> way. And now. So it's 24 19. This is Courtney Todd to serve. This, again, Lady Tigers playing for match point. Can they get it? Wow. That's it. That's going to do it. The That's Lady it. Tigers. Who came back twice from five points? It was that point Marie deficit. that tied her up there on the net. <laughs> it was uh, what? Oh. on Creek and caused the over. It, it was uh, what a game, Ron. Tell you what, there there were a, a lot of uh, contributors in, in tonight. But just if I'm going back and in my mind, my my thoughts, you know, it'd be hard to pick one person, but the. The kill shots that Marie had on the outside, um, in my mind, sent a big message. Uh, not that any of the others didn't, but if I was selecting somebody, I think I would select Marie just on those kill shots there. That one. Definitely. I think, Ron, I think what we'll – I think the thing is, is, first of all, everyone contributed so well. Oh, like Gerwig no played so well down the stretch there to put it away. Craigle served a great piece. Uh, everyone played well. I think I, I'll, I'll agree with you on that. Uh, try not to be. <laughs> I know. Too, but uh, I think the thing I, was that that was momentum changing. That kind of happened right. with that. I just I, that one where she reached back when it was out and still got the point here in this last set. Um, Riley up front. Goodness. Um, that that one service set. Yeah. <laughs> so they all contributed. It was a great, great team effort tonight. Well, we'll name our Everett Chevrolet Player of the Game. We'll, tonight we'll announce uh, Marie Gregson as the Everett Chevrolet Player of the Game. And, uh, again, complimenting all the young ladies tonight. It was a great team effort and, and especially coming back from a couple of big deficits. Well, Ron, that's going to do it for us tonight. So we'll remind you that the next webcast will be this Friday. This will be this Friday on uh, – we will be playing Huntsville in football uh, at uh, Prairie Grove Tiger Stadium. That will be this Friday. The next webcast for volleyball will be one week from tonight when the Lady – or one week from tomorrow night when the Lady Tigers take on the Gravit Lions. For Ron Bond, I'm Lynn Gregson. Thank you, and have a good night. Thank you. It was a good night.